I'm so excited. I've never done a vlog table before, but I'm really excited to do it this year. We've got some fun things happening in October. October's quite a month for us. It's the month of our wedding anniversary and it's the month of Ivy's birthday. Uh, and lockdown permitting, we're going to be going away in the October half term. So we'll have hopefully some nice things to show whilst we're away as well. But going to Northumberland. Just had my mask on because I had to go to the shop for milk and cat food as you do. And um, whenever I put my mask on, my whole bottom of my face ends up feeling so itchy. I don't know how people wear them for long periods of time because it just bothers my nose so much. It's very silly. Anyway, today is a work day for me. Um, but excitingly, oh my goodness, that sun is so low. Excitingly, um, we've been decorating the front room and last night we finished and put it all back together again. Uh, so I get to um, put all our ornaments and pretty things and all my yarn back in. So I'll probably capture some of that later. We just got the furniture in. I didn't do any of, well, hardly any of the pretty. We just got the pictures on the walls, the lamps back in so we could see what we were doing properly and everything. Anyway, I'll give you a, a look at that in a bit. But right now I've got to get back home and get to my desk. And home we are. Excuse the mess on the table. We need to sort it out, but what's the collective noun for a group of chickens? One, two, three, four, five, six, or oh, six of them. Only one not perching on the bench. So not a parliament. <laughs> Just googled the collective noun for chickens. Flock, I thought it was. But also brood, peep, or clutch. How cute! I want a clutch of chickens. A peep. A peep. <laughs> peep, peep. <laughs> I think I'm going to call them my peep of chickens from now on.
Hello, I'm just dropping in to say I've been a naughty girl and cast on a new sock. So, well, I'm not being naughty really, but I was trying to keep myself on the straight and narrow with a couple of projects I've got on the go at the moment and I will still make progress on them. But I really wanted to make a pair of Strictly socks and another pair of Halloween socks this year. Uh, so I'm using my Halloween bag by Moo and Mouse. Um, I think it's the wrong way around. Oh yeah, Moo and Mouse. See, can you read upside down? <laughs> um, let me just show you Matilda. Here she is, off to go trick or treating. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to be knitting the Lola socks by Jules Hill from um, So Sweet Violet. Um, which is the strictly official strictly pattern and also if you buy her pattern the lola pattern um she will do donate three pounds of the um sale money to um the fundraiser bill special bus which has been run by gainer of um tales from cuckoo land for her son's special school um because they're raising money for a new minibus which is a very important piece of equipment for their school. So I'm going to knit the Lola socks and the yarn that I am knitting them in is uh, Jo Knit So, which I bought from a Yarn Mama sale um, the other, a couple of months, well a few months ago now, I say a couple of months, it was like March, April time. And the colourway, it's not actually Halloween, but it's called Tangerine Nightmare. And nightmares are fa fairly Halloweenish. And I just love the colours in it. I don't know if you can see very well. I think you can actually. A lovely silver grey background with all these neon pinks, oranges and yellows and greens. Which just say Halloween to me. So I've got a Halloween Haunted House stitch mark, uh, progress keeper which I made. And then these two minis which I'm going to use with it. Are both from a swap I shared on my last little vlog. Um... And they are both Vicky Brown Designs yarns. And this one is perfect. It's called Pumpkin Juice. And this one is called Sunset Party. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do yet. But I'm, I'm thinking that I'm going to do alternate heels and toes. So I'll do one heel in this and one heel in that. And then one toe in this and one toe in that. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. And I'm going to enjoy the rest of this lovely lady's podcast. Ali from Little Drops of Wonderful. Um, it's been out a few days and I'm just catching up. So I'm going to spend sit here in my newly painted minty fresh front room and I'm going to knit on my little sock and enjoy some podcasts. Um, Johnny and the kids are at martial arts at the moment so I've got to put Cosy to bed when I get back. But apart from that, I'm going to do nothing and I'm going to enjoy it too. Uh, so thank you very much for joining me for my first day of Vlogtober. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, oh, and if you like the music at the beginning, it's um, a special piece of music which has been written for me by my sister and brother-in-law who are Wendy Kirkland and Pat Sprakes. Um, and it's called Green Lambkin Blues. <laughs> and I absolutely love it. I think it suits the intro really well. So thank you very much, Wendy and Pat. And I'll credit that in the... Um, in the description box below as well if you found me and you're new to my channel thank you very much for joining me today i hope you've really enjoyed it and if you have i'd love it if you'd give me a little uh <coughs> thumb a um thumbs up at the um just underneath the um screen and also if you've enjoyed it and you'd like to watch the rest of my vlogtobers why not click the subscribe button because then it'll pop up in your feed and you won't have to think about it so I'm going to say night night and I'll see you again tomorrow.